Today, we're diving into a seismic shift in the stock market that's setting the stage for what could be the ultimate short squeeze. We're seeing significant developments from regulatory crackdowns in China to technical indicators aligning perfectly and even legal battles heating up in the U.S. against notorious short sellers. Let's unpack all these elements and see how they're converging to create a scenario where shorts are forced to close their positions, leading to a dramatic market move. Hey, welcome to a MC Daily. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell. So you never miss any of our uploads and also enter our giveaway. But everyone remember this is not a financial advice video. First, let's start with a tweet from Kristen Shaughnessy, highlighting how Chinese regulators are aggressively targeting illegal short selling. This crackdown has led Chinese short sellers to unwind their positions at an unprecedented pace. In fact, short positions in the Chinese market have plummeted to their lowest levels since March 2020. This rapid unwinding, driven by strict enforcement against both legal and illegal short selling, has caused a significant 14% drop in short positions. The market value of these positions has shrunk to just a few billion dollars, marking a notable shift in market dynamics. Chinese authorities are not just targeting short sellers. They're also clamping down on quantitative trading. This crackdown coincides with similar moves in the U.S., where regulators are finally stepping up actions against market manipulators. One high-profile case involves Andrew Left, a short seller known for his role in the GameStop saga. Left has now surrendered on securities fraud charges in Los Angeles and is awaiting sentencing. This is a clear sign that the authorities are serious about tackling market manipulation. Now, shifting our focus to the technical side of things, there's an interesting development concerning AMC. The Bronx Viking tweeted that AMC has opened its first daily candle above the 200-day moving average since June of last year. This is a significant technical indicator, suggesting potential bullish momentum. Colin, another market analyst, shared a similar observation, noting that AMC is not only above the 200-day moving average, but is also breaking out of previous patterns that have held it back. Looking at the charts, AMC's performance above the 200-day moving average is a rare occurrence. The last time this happened was in August 2022 but the stock only managed to stay above this key level for a short period. If a MC can maintain this momentum and break above resistance levels at $7, $8, and $9 per share, we could see the beginning of a major short squeeze. This aligns with broader market movements and could trigger significant upward pressure on the stock. Adding fuel to this fire, Mike Investing recently tweeted about Charles Gasparino's revelation. According to Gasparino, numerous guests on CNBC received secret payments from hedge funds to manipulate stock prices, including GameStop and AMC. This disclosure highlights the extent of market manipulation and underscores the need for transparency and accountability in financial media. Another crucial aspect of this story is the ongoing legal battle involving Northwest Biotherapeutics NWBO and Citadel. Biotech Moose summarized the situation, explaining that Citadel's lawyers are trying to downplay the severity of their stock manipulation. They argue that the plaintiff cherry-picked the worst examples of manipulation, attempting to minimize the overall impact. However, this defense seems weak in the face of substantial evidence of widespread market manipulation. As these legal and regulatory pressures mount, it's clear that short sellers are finding it increasingly difficult to operate as they have in the past. Some might even face jail time, which ironically doesn't absolve them from closing their short positions. The liquidation of their hedge funds would still force these positions to be closed, adding another layer of complexity to the unfolding scenario. In summary, we're witnessing a perfect storm where regulatory actions, technical indicators, and legal battles are all converging. This convergence is putting immense pressure on short sellers and could lead to what many are calling the mother of all short squeezes. As always, it's essential to stay informed and vigilant, especially in such volatile times. Guys, that's all we have for you today. What is your opinion about a MC stock? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.